Hey people, it's Marsha Holland here, Glam Mama. Make sure I'm videoing. Okay, I'm getting ready to go to a, a <clears throat> company work Christmas party. So I'm. this is about as festive as I'm going to get. Yeah, we're not very festive folks. <laughs> but I am going to try something different. I want to try to do some Christmas eyes, maybe some red and green. You know, I don't know. I've got green in here, but I've also got that color. So pff, I think I'm going to stick with red and green. But the fun thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wear some red and black eyelashes I got from Elegacy boutique.com it's my friend Nicole's shop and these are so cute they are you know they're not over over glam but they're look they're red and black so I thought I put some green right here and maybe do some red somewhere I don't know we're gonna play okay I may stop and start stop and start this video a lot so let's get going I'm gonna do my um uh, color correcting stuff first let's get it going here find my favorite brush which i put out somewhere now i can't find it <sighs> okay i'll put you on hold i'll be right back okay i did not find my favorite brush i know it's here i have it in its special place and i just can't find it so i'm going to use another brush and we're going to use some um, this is um this is nick's color correcting in the in the orange peachy color and that's what you want to use for dark circles yeah if you look at the color wheel you will want to do what's the opposite of what's on that color wheel so if your if, you, if your dark circles are uh black you'd go the opposite if you're if you're if they're purple blue whatever it is you just look at the color wheel and go the opposite that's what they say anyway so this is that then i'm not i'm just gonna press that a little bit not gonna blend it all out just yet i'm just really pressing and i don't have the correct brush so don't get me for that yeah i'm gonna use a little bit of it cosmetics um uh, color correcting concealer this stuff goes a long way and I'm going to warm it up with my finger and then tap it on kind of over this. Kind of like that. I've also used this concealer uh, as a primer, you know, on the eyes. So that works too. All right. So let's get it blended a little bit. And I'm using a, just if this is just a, dry bud you can use setting spray uh to to do this you can just use it dry you can use a you know moisturizing spray anything i'm just using it dry though why because i want to today because i want to today all right now i'm gonna let that kind of sit for a second it's improved it a little bit but i'm gonna help it out some more here in a minute Yes, I am. I'm going to put a little bit. My nose is tickling. Sorry. I'm trying to decide what I want to do now. I'm going to set it, I think, with a little bit of this NYX powder. It's a, um, oops. It's a white, and it doesn't really smell very good, NYX. I'm sorry. It just doesn't smell good. I don't know what. Maybe I should investigate the ingredients. You know, I'm really big on ingredients. <coughs> yeah. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. Yeah. A little bit. While that's setting, this is the powder. While that is setting, then I'm going to put the primer on my eyes. And this is a Lancome. Let's see if I can read. I got talked into this at Ulta. I need to, really, I need to stay out of that store. This is called, I don't know, I, it's in French of all things. Uh, shoot. It's a base, an eye base, which I can't read it. It's an eye base. And I told them what I wanted it for. And so they have pointed me to this direction. 
So I told him, you know, with old lady eyes, tissues right here, it's very delicate right here. I wanted something that would be a good primer. And so this is what they took me to. We will see. You can use any good, if you have a good concealer, you can use a good concealer as a primer. You don't have to have a special eye primer. However, I do believe the primer, eye primers are designed for the different kinds of tissues that we have in our eyes. So you might take that in consideration. Yeah. The older you get, the more you're going to consider. That's right. Okay. That has had a chance, I think, to sit for a minute. So let's brush off any excess. And I am just going to put a little bit of that powder on my eyes too. You don't have to, but let's do it. It is messy. This is messy. Okay, we'll just we'll just do a little bit. I don't want to overdo in that area. <sighs> Let me get my junk out of the way so I don't lose everything. Okay, getting close. I think I'm gonna use this silly thing for my foundation today, you know? Yeah. I am gonna do it. Alright, bare face almost. Almost. <clears throat> so I'm going to use a little bit of my liquid foundation here. Watch me get it everywhere. Yeah, because when it starts getting... Uh-oh. When it starts getting low like that, then it starts to squirt, which is aggravating. I'm going to get a Q-tip because I ain't wasting nothing, guys. I'm getting all this stuff off. This is one of those little air pump thingies, so... Sometimes you can put the take the lids off and get the, you know, I don't want to waste anything. Don't want to waste a thing. Gonna go easy around my eyes, though. Easy around my eyes, because I've already put a bunch of junk up there. Junk? What's the matter with me? See how much you can get? Look at there. I had a whole application. Probably could get some more. I think I'll hang on to it. We'll get some more out of here because I got some on my hand. I shouldn't have even done that. Oh, well. I have another bottle. Never fear. I have another bottle. Yes, I do. I'm going to blend it, though, with... I mean, I'm going to put it on with this blender and then smooth it out. I like using a blender. It took me forever to even figure out how to use a blender. But once I use the blender, I like it. But today, I'm going to use this really weird-looking thing foundation brush feels weird uh, feels pretty good whenever you you know hold it like this but it, I guarantee you it, it's different <laughs> it is different it is different go easy around the eyes right in here is what I'm talking about I'm just not gonna put any extra product there, but I'm just going to use what's on this little paddle. What do you call those? I hope everybody's having a great day today. I decided not to do a live because I am kind of in a hurry, you know, to get to the Christmas party. So I run my mouth. I'm terrible. So I cannot do a fast live. One thing that bugs me the most is I can't see very well. So yeah, hang on a second. My nose is tickling. I know you don't want to watch that. Okay, I saved you. Now let's do a little bit of, uh, I want to do a little bit of highlighting here, which I didn't even get my highlighter out. So let's do that real quick. Hello, everybody. Let's do a little bit. I'm not going to do a lot, just a little. I'm also starting to develop some bags right here, you know? Things happen when you age, man. Some things are pretty funny. Some things are not so stinking funny, you know? <laughs> it's 
kind of sad to start getting old. You start losing your looks. If you had any looks, <laughs> start losing whatever looks you had and things start happening. Your hands start to look old. You start to look like your grandmother, you know. <laughs> it is a slow process, so you do have time to, re you know, to get used to it, I think. I don't want to ever be old, though. I mean, I want—I don't mind aging. I just don't want to look or act like I'm old, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. This is a color correcting powder. I love anything color correcting, hyaluronic, collagen, any of that stuff. I am all for it. Anti-aging, anything like that. There is so much out there today, guys. <sighs> Oh my gosh, there he is. <clears throat> okay, all my good brushes are damp, and you can use damp brushes to do your shadows and stuff. You just have to be aware that it's going to make them more bold. So we want to kind of be careful, because remember, I said I was going to a Christmas party, right? And we're not very bold. So I'm just going to give myself a good brushing. I've already done the primer on the eyes going to do my eyebrows and then I'll do my cheeks. I brush my eyebrows down to start with. Then we're going to go in here and I'm looking at my pattern, my natural pattern. I'm trying to follow it. trying to follow it. And then we'll do the under. Now remember, I have to go to work after the Christmas party, so I can't get too wild and crazy. But I am going to leave that green and red eyeshadow on and my black and red eyelashes. Nobody's going to see me anywho except my patients and my co-workers. Use my little spoolie to smooth out the brow product. Brushing up now. That. Oh, this gray hair. Silver hair, gray hair, whatever it is. Easy to. We all have an awkward side. My left side is my awkward side. My brows are naturally not alike, they grow differently. I believe it's the way I sleep because I sleep on the left side sleeper. So I think this is why this one looks different. I kind of raise my eyebrows up just a little while I'm messing with them like this. Fill in a little bit and then start working towards the bottom. Could never get them exactly alike. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with the red and green eyeshadow, though. Sometimes I don't know. See there, Lee, there. I got that darker. Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do till I start doing it. So, practice. Practice. It's fun. I guess that looks okay, huh? Huh, huh? It's as good as it's gonna get. Alrighty. Here comes the cheeks. Let's do some cheeks. Just gonna use my great standby. Coral Dune, it's called. Which doesn't really look coral, I don't think. I think it just kind of picks up whatever colors you're wearing and I stay up high with my uh, cheeks because I don't want it to be emphasized down here. So 
So we're going to blend some of this out too. I usually put more on than I need to start with. We're going to blend out in just a second. I'm going to use my Gerard Cosmetic Highlighter Palette Starlet. Yes. And this I absolutely love. If you have a lot of crow's feet, though, you might want to not put the stuff up there where your crow's feet is. Yeah. Might emphasize it. I don't have too bad. I try to keep it right along in here, but get up there somehow. A little harder to see the glow on this side because of the way the light shines, but it looks like that. Then I'm going to take this pretty rose color and just kind of go over... A little on the nose, not much, because I've got a big nose, and I don't want to emphasize that big nose. My sisters keep telling me, your nose does not look big. Your nose does not look big. It does not look like your pictures. Well, I don't know about that. I am who I am. I am what I am. Just going to take a stipple brush and just kind of smooth it out. A little bit and I took too much off didn't I okay I am gonna kind of uh, highlight right here I think not highlight I'm gonna kind of contour do an illusion here uh, today I'll just use this uh, oh wait 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 I got this new palette careful I got this new palette it's from Elf, and it's got some stuff underneath the shadows. Look at all that stuff. Is that powder? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm going to use the darker color and just kind of give you an illusion here of, whoa. Be careful with that. Try to hide my bag. And you want to go over, you know, above your bag trying to do an invisible like a line like that kind of creates a shadow I have square jaws too so I want to Whew. okay we'll smooth all that out nice little palette from elf okay now we'll smooth it all out So I hope I get it all smoothed out because sometimes when I go back and look at my videos, I think, oh, I didn't get that good enough. <laughs> yes, about time for me to start watching a lot of videos. I love watching YouTube videos. I learn so much. You can learn so much by looking at YouTube videos. Okay, it's time. All right, what am I going to do first? Let's do just an overall... Uh, you know, I like to do a base coat. kind of gets me started. I might use, I think I'll use this um, Take Me Away Majestic Galaxy palette. It's a pretty new palette, too. I'm going to use it to start. Let's get us a nice little fluffy brush. This, these are damp now. I don't know if I should use damp ones or not. We'll see. I'm just going to use a just an overall beige color just to go over. The whole eye just go over the whole eye it gives me a, a good starting point okay now what I'm thinking of I'm thinking of green here and maybe some red glitter here what do you think I guess I can always take it off if it doesn't work right so I think I will use, uh, this has a pretty green in it, but sty uh, st Stila, I have a pretty Stila green. So let's see what that looks like. Of course, we're going to use the sp sparkly on it, but I'm going to put Easy Does It on this red here, okay? Yeah, that kind of spooks me a little bit. So this is really not red red, though. Do I even have a red red? I have a red red. But I'm not sure. This is my James Charles. Yes, he's got a red. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that red. Yes. Let's use that red. 
Okay, I'm getting too much stuff laying on my table again. Okay, we'll use that red. He's got some green too. We're gonna we're gonna start with red though, okay? I'm scared. Should I do the red here and then do the green there? I think I will. I think what I'm going to do is I have some red glitter. And we will just do some red glitter and then we'll do some green on the bone. Like I said many times, sometimes I have no idea what I'm going to do, right? I'm just going to go lightly with this stuff here to start. <laughs> Because remember, my bosses are going to be there. Using this fluffy brush here just because I want it to be light. Yeah, to start. <laughs> this gives, gives me my beginning. Because it's like painting a picture, you know, you gotta, first thing you gotta do when you paint a picture though is have a clean canvas, right? So don't forget, I'm so big on skincare. That is my thing. If you've got good skincare, good healthy skincare, and you're taking care of your skin, you can do a lot of things with your canvas, right? That keep your, your canvas clean. All right, that's, I'm just gonna, let's see, I'm kind of scared to do this. So let's do that. <laughs> Let me get another this palette is huge. It takes up all my room. Okay, so now we'll start with a little bit of the green. And I have kind of a, it's a fluffy brush, but it's kind of a stiff fluffy brush. Uh, like I said, I'm using a damp brush too. I hope that's not a mistake. And when I get done with this Christmas party, I may have to come back here and wash my face off. Who knows? You know, I have a little trick, too. If you can't do your eye bone socket, put your um, eyelash curler. Use it for a guideline. That's kind of subtle. I know it looks kind of weird. <sighs> Very weird. Smooth it out a little. Time to get a little creative with it. Making my giant triangle or V, whatever you want to call it. We're going to sharpen it all up. All the way to the tail of my brow. Can't go to a Christmas party without having glitter. That's right. All the way. And you know what amazes me? Is having... Um, when you do your eyeliner... How that just brings everything together. I'm going to put a little bit of red under here. I wish I was good at artwork. You know, I need to learn how to draw little things on my face. I think that stuff is so cute when they do that. Coming down with some red. My goal is not to look sick. My goal is to look Christmassy. <laughs> Do a little more red. Ooh, this may have to come off. I don't know. If you're watching this, that means it came out okay. Otherwise, I won't be showing it. Yeah. Hmm. Here's a bolder green. Let's mix it. That's 
more of a Christmassy green there, yeah. I may be asked to leave the party. Would you please leave? Don't tell anybody that you work here with us, please. <laughs> Hope not. My boss is liable to come to work tonight just to see if I wash my face or not, huh? Let me get a little bit in the crease there. I do have hooded eyes, so I just want to sharpen that there. It's not really going to show. Okay. Okay, now it really gets scary because I have some... Um, what do I do with it? I have some NYX Glitter Primer. Oh, there it is. And I think I'll put that on first. Wait, maybe I better do it this way. I'll do it that way. <laughs> oh, don't want to use that brush. Pay attention. Ugh. I really don't know what this glitter primer is. I don't guess it's glue. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't apply like glue. I'm not sure what it is. But it's supposed to help the, the glitter stick. Oh my gosh, I may be sorry. Looking kind of weird. Okay, so I have this palette, this glitter palette. I want to say I got this from Hip Dot. It has all kinds of glitter in it. Here's some red. So we're just, I'm just going to go for it. It's a deep red. Ooh. I might get laughed at. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. Just tapping it on the lid. Whoa. I have to blend out my green a little bit. Do I know what the heck I'm doing? No. Whew. I think I'll I think I'll put that away. We will just kind of put that away for now. Let me get my brush and let's do a little blending. Tap, tap, tap. Wonder if I need to put a little brown in there. What do you think? Do I need to tone it down? See, now I do wish I had was doing a live. You guys could tell me. Do you have fun with your makeup? Have fun with your makeup. Oh boy. I don't know. Maybe we should do a little diamond dust. Just to settle things out a little bit. Let's do a little diamond dust. Uh, Where do I put it? Tone it down a little, huh? Kind of 
makes it more sparkly. Stila. I called it Stila forever. I better take it easy with the glitter. some silver there too but I better stop huh I better cool it just kind of smear that around kind of tone down that red a little bit oh, that looks just kind of like uh, like, maybe not, huh? Uh, that don't look good. I don't like that. Hang on. What can we do? What am I going to do? Let's see, Charles. What you got? little dark brown. Not black, but need some dimension. Just looks like blob. Moment of silence while I think. Blending is the key, you know, and I really think I need to concentrate on blending a little more. Um, but I don't have a lot of patience. And you don't have a lot of patience it's hard I like to tap right in here though because that's how this is where I would over blend I want to keep my distinctions because if I over blend it just all blends in together and it really doesn't look I don't know Oh, it's pretty scary by the time I get my red and black eyelashes on. Do you think they will say, Oh, how are you? <laughs> you know how some people will look at you like, and they don't say anything, and you know what they're thinking. They're thinking, you look weird. What is that? What are you trying to do? It's called having a little fun. Little fun. Okay. Did that help? Let's don't forget to do the brow bone up here. And let's see, we better get a clean brush for that, huh? That would probably help. Let's get a clean brush. Still gotta do my eyeliner. Okay, that's a lot.
always see people do that. All right. This is just a worn out fluffy brush. I mean, worn out. There's hardly any bristles. But it works good for what I want to do right here. Is that better? Feel so professional. Feel so grown up. Let's help it. Touch you around the eyes, got to be careful. Easy. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. That's not very red. What do I want? Is it red enough? I'm afraid if I put any more red on it, it's going to really look tacky, ugly. Okay. Let's do some eyeliner and see what happens. Hang on, drop something here. Oh, I have to pick up what I drop because if I don't, my dog helps herself. So we don't want her doing that. She'll chew anything. Anything. All right, I think I'll go. I think I'll do one eye on the liner and stuff and then come back, okay? And maybe I'll do... I'll just do one eye and come back. Yeah. Okay. I'm back. And I've got one eye finished. I hope it's not too gaudy looking. I don't know. I feel kind of weird. Uh, but I got my lashes on. My red and red and black lashes. Can you see? I don't know. Can you tell they're red and black? I don't know if you can tell or not. I can see it though. So let's get the other eye done. You can see what the difference is, huh? really opens up your eyes yeah so let's do eyeliner i start out trying to do it like the normal girls do but when you get older girls you have to do things a little different sometimes you know it's okay and as you know, if you watch me, this eyeliner is really just my parking place for my lash. This is what you may not have to do. is kind of hold your eye like that. Yeah. Then I come around here. Made a boo-boo. So I have to straighten it all up. why I always try to start out thinner and then you can always fix it. Yeah. I think I went all the way over. Thin. Boy, I got a lot on there. A lot more than I would normally wear to work. I did my tear line and I also did a tight line. So let's do that real quick. And I used what's left. Oh my gosh. There it is. I got a teeny tiny little eyeliner here that I need to get another one. Try 
try to stay close to the lash line when I do this. Whew. That's a lot, my mama would say. Goodness gracious, girl. Wash your face. You can hear her little voice right now. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to do a little mascara. It looks... I don't know if I look like I've been hit in the face or... <laughs> or what? I do mascara first. Some do it after their lashes. Uh, I do mine first. This... Oops. Shoot. This is where your Q-tips come in handy. Uh yeah, see that on my nose? Okay. Uh oh. Ooh. Under here. I like to smudge it. It's okay, I guess. I don't know if it's really considered Christmassy or not, but certainly different for me. Okay, I got my eyelash. All glue is ready. Make sure I think I have a fuzz somewhere. Okay. Let's see, can you see the little red? See that? Okay, here we go. I did trim it a little. I find that's hard to do is to trim them and to get them, you know, to get them the right size. I have a hard time with that. But it gets better because I'm sticking with it. In there, I use the clear glue because it, you know, it dries clear, of course. Seriously considering doing the black, though, just to see. I don't know. Little trick. Uh, when, you, when you let it all dry, you can always go back. I'm just pushing. You can always go back and you can put your eyeliner, touch your eyeliner up. You can also, I heard a girl say, you can also you go back with a black eyeshadow and kind of fill that in. So I haven't done that before. I got glitter on my cheeks. You can't see it. All right. I think I'm good there, hopefully. One good thing is I'm coming home to get into my uniform, so if something's not right, I can fix it. I better quit messing with it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Elegacy Boutique. Get you some. Let's see if I can tell you the name of this particular lash. I really like, there's one that I got too. They're not cleaned up. I used, I wore them last night. This is called Candy Red, and they're silk. Uh, Candy Red. And the other one I wore last night is called X-Rated. And it's an exclusive collection. And these, these the, the little red ones here were only $6. And then the X-Rated ones that I wore last night, which I like because they're X's. Now, I haven't cleaned these up, so I just want to show you, though. You can kind of see the X's. Can you see those X's? These kind of lashes are excellent for, um, oh, those aren't my X's. What am I talking about? These are my wispies. <gasps> Shoot. Hang on, girls. Here's my X's. I put them back in their little house. Here's my X's. I thought that looked weird. Here's my X's, though. See the X's? Yeah. They're not cleaned up, though. Anyway, these are cool. 
Okie doke. Get those. These are my wispies here. They're kind of X's too, sort of. Kind of, sort of. I better put them back in the box, though. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm done. My lips are just a com combination. I just, I don't really like stark red lips. Yeah, uh, I love to wear red and all that good stuff. Red, like really red, red lips. So I just took a combination of stuff. This particular one is just a freebie I got at uh, Ulta, you know, a thing I bought. This stuff I really like. It's called Revolution Lip Topper. And it gives you that little shine. I'll show you. I got several good glosses and stuff. That I like. I just tap it on. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. Thank you so much for visiting with me. And if you're looking at it, then that means I decided to go ahead and show it. So, anyway, this is my Christmas eye. Not very Christmassy, but... It's good. It's all right. It's good. One more look. See? Okay. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye. Glam Mamaw. Look me up on YouTube.